It's the gear tester here with my tabletop review on the 511 thumb drive holster. This is an awesome little polymer holster. It works very well and there's a number of things I like about it. But before we talk about this holster, I want to take a, a second and talk about two holsters that I think are kind of the predecessors of this one and they have many similarities with the 511 thumb drive holster. The first here is going to be a Safari Land holster. Uh, this is the uh, has this hood that rotates forward and back and holds a firearm in place. This happens to be an older model Safari Land holster. And uh, these are these are great little holsters. They're Kydex. They're suede lined. This particular holster is designed for the Glock family of pistols. Comes in very nicely. Locks down. You use your thumb to rotate the hood and then you draw the firearm. Okay, a lot of firearms, of course, have been safety check and no magazine in them. So that, that's pretty nice. I like this uh, Safari Land holster, but some people have struggled with it because it does not instantly retain the firearm when you put the, put, put, place the firearm into it. So you put your gun in, and this does have a, a secondary level of retention that just squeezes the gun, that holds friction on the gun. But if you were to turn the gun upside down and shake it a whole bunch, the pistol could, the holster upside down and shake it, you could lose the firearm. You'd have to actively engage the hood there, that then, then the pistol's not going anywhere. And I think the uh, 511 thumb drive holster is excellent because when you place the, the firearm into the holster, it locks securely, okay? So uh, that, that's one sweet thing about the 511 thumb drive holster. And that's kind of the similarities that it shares here with the Safari Land holster. The other holster that this, uh, the 511 holster is very similar to, and I think will be compared because it's a much closer in price point to this holster. This is just the holster portion without any backing to the Blackhawk Serpa holster. This one in particular is for the Glock. And the Serpa works much the same way the 511 thumb drive does. Once you insert the firearm, it locks into place. You have to depress this little button here to draw the firearm. However, a number of people are very afraid that in the process of doing that and in indexing this, you might accidentally discharge the firearm. And so they wanted a, a holster that would operate similarly to the Safari Land holster, except most of these holsters run over $100, depending on the model you get, at a, at a lower price point but they didn't want to have to use their index finger which might accidentally slip into the trigger guard and that's where 511 uh, got together with blade tech and they produced the excellent little 511 blade tech thumb drive holster i like this holster there are some things though that i don't like about it and i want to talk about those really quickly here i like the fact that you don't have to in use your index finger i like the fact that you're using your thumb that makes sure that you're not accidentally going to discharge the firearm. People have done it with the Serpas. I think with proper training, that can be avoided and, and, and being aware of where your finger is. Uh, the one thing, one of the things that I don't like about the, the 511 thumb drive holsters is that this is a riveted construction. On the Serpa and on the Safari Land, I can tighten the level of retention on my firearm with these screws here. So I can have the gun very, very loose or I can tighten it down. And if there's different tolerances in the way the guns are being made, that to me is, is a really positive thing just in case uh, that there was a little less plastic or a little more plastic on your gun. Uh, you can't do that with the uh, 511 thumb drive holster. Another thing is the 511 markets this thumb drive holster as having being a, a level two retention holster there. You can see that there. Uh, when I think level two retention, I think that there are two kinds of retention that are happening, and maybe I'm mistaken, but both the, uh, the uh, Blackhawk Serpa and the Safari Land have uh, two different levels of retention, meaning I can just place my firearm in the holster, okay, and with enough force it can be pulled out. There's nothing keeping it from being pulled out, but, but it's in there, okay? It's not going to fall out. I can shake it upside down. If it got hit, it would come out, okay? but it has the retention there. Uh, same thing here. You could, you could disable this and my firearm's not going to fall out. Okay, I can disable that button and shake it. That's not the case with the 511 uh, thumb drive. Woo. Drop that there. Okay, when I put this gun into the holster, uh, it, I'm fine as long as I keep the gun pointed down and, and even then I can depress this button. Okay, but when I turn it upside down, 
I can just do that and it'll fall straight out there. Let's do that one more time. Thread. Just a little bit of movement, a little rattle, pops right out. So really to me, the thumb drive holster is a, a level one retention. It only has one level of retention. There is no friction, okay, that's holding there. There are holsters, for instance, like this uh, holster here that just uses uh, the tension of the kydex to hold the gun in place. And, uh, you know, I wish that that was somehow incorporated into the 511 thumb drive holster. That would make me feel better about the way it retains the gun. However, if you're really worried about using your index finger and you want to have something comparable to the same basic idea as a Safari Land at a much cheaper cost point, or price point, I think the 511 thumb drive holster is an excellent option for you. It is very robust in the way that it retains the firearm. They've got videos of guys on, online doing pull-ups, having two of these two firearms in these holsters doing pull-ups. You know, I cannot... That's not, that's not going to come out of there. I don't want people to think that this gun just, tr this holster just drops the gun all the time. That's not the case. But if this did happen to get depressed somehow and you were in a situation where there was some movement and, and the gun was not pointed down, I think you might possibly be able to lose your firearm. The moment that de something was depressing that would release, your gun would be instantly retained again. So it's probably not that big of a deal, but just something to be aware of. The construction of this little holster is uh, it feels more like fiberglass. Uh, both the, uh, the uh, Safari Land and the Blackhawk Serpa kind of feel almost like a rubber. They're more of a kydex, a softer polymer. Uh, this 511 thumb drive has kind of like a, a harder feel to it. It feels like it would crack rather than just kind of bend like some other kydex holsters. I don't think that's a problem. I've used this pretty heavily and it hasn't broken on me yet. When you get the uh, thumb drive holster, you get basically the same things that you get with most holsters these days. You get this paddle, which I actually prefer. Very nice little system there. Uh, you also get a belt clip here that goes on there. Okay, so you get those two options. You also get what they call a chop blocker. Okay, and that would go in between the paddle or the belt attachment point and the holster using the same screws they give you. And what that's going to do is it's going to cover, okay, it's going to cover like so, so an individual trying to approach you from facing you and trying to, to grab your gun would have a harder time. You could just place your hand here and they wouldn't be able to activate the release lever. So it probably is uh, with that little feature there, the chop blocker, you know, you may want to use that. I think it just brings a, an already a holster that's, and I think all these holsters are really not concealment holsters. They bring these holsters out further from your body, so I'm not super interested in the chop blocker. Uh, one thing that may interest you is if you already have Serpa holster products, for instance, a leg drop or mounting systems you like, for instance, this one uh, from Blackhawk, designed for the Serpa, allows you to mount the pistol holster onto a Molly platform. Uh, those, the, the three holes that they use here, this dimension is the same exact dimension that Blade Tech and 511 have chosen. So if you want to use this belt clip, the 511 thumb drive belt clip on your uh, Serpa holster, you could do that. If you had a Serpa attachment and you wanted to use it on your thumb drive holster, that would work well as uh, work perfectly as well. So that just lets you know you have some options here. I think all these holsters are great, and I'm impressed in many ways with the 511 thumb drive. I think the 511 thumb drive holster is a great little holster at a bargain price at around $50. You might be able to find a little bit cheaper than that. It's a really quality holster. I think there's lots of things to like about it. Thank you so much for your views and your subscriptions. My goal is to produce quality video reviews of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off.